Hello there everybody, it's me Technojog back with another Ark Survival Evolved here on the standard nerd server on the island and whew, this will be the third attempt of recording this episode, hence why it's been a little while since you've seen an Ark episode. A little while back I'd been out and about and I don't think you'd be aware of this but I lost Flappy Bird. Um, Flappy Bird was killed by a level 70 Carnotaurus because I wasn't paying attention. Um, so, we're not completely lost. We've got Flappy Bird 2, we've got Polly, and we've got Budgie over there. Um, but Vex heard uh, about that and said, well, he's got a couple, a breeding pair of RGs that are pretty good. So he would drop off an egg for me, which he did, and you, if you've seen his latest episode, you'll have seen that, that happen. Well, I went and recorded an episode about hatching up that egg, and I made a complete pig's ear of it. I'd forgotten that I had the nanny, I ended up attempting to manually uh, imprint it, it needed Dimetrion kibble, I didn't have a Dimetrion egg, I went off to to, and found one. I took it back here to tame it. I messed that up. There was a Tapajara. I went off trying to tame that part way through. Failed in doing that. Failed in imprinting the bird and messed it all up. So, um, that bird is actually over there at the moment and it's a really nice colour and it's such a shame that I messed it up because yeah, I really like that bird. But it's all messed up. So I took the liberty of heading over to Vex's base and I got another egg. So we're going to hatch that one. We're going to do it here, we're going to do it now, and hopefully we're going to get a nice bird out of it. Knowing my luck though, it probably won't be. It'll be horrible, but we shall see. So we've got a level 1 baby Argentavis. Excellent. Level 161 will imprint on it. Uh, we're not going to bother calling it a name as yet until such times as I see it's worth keeping. Stamina 1000, that's the same as one of the parents, I know that. Melee damage 337.5 is alright. Health's alright. I could do with being a bit more stamina, but I think that's the most I'll get. But we can imprint it up, of course. So, let's go behaviour, disable wandering, and go behaviour passive and then behavior we're going to say lowest so it's going to start following me so we're going to take this out i'm going to take it over to the main tower and we'll move the nanny up from the place where we were doing the saber tooth building so it'll take me a second to get this girl guy girl excellent um, over. It's a shame this one doesn't have the red crest of that one over there. It's just got the grey crest, but I do like the yellow wing tips and um, the yellow breast. That looks very, very nice. So quite happy with that at the moment. Let's get this creature over there. We're going to get the the nanny up and we'll breed it up. And I'm afraid that bird, I think that bird's for the cook pot. It's going to be for chicken soup, so don't look because your sister's about to get chopped up. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so finally, god these things are slow, finally this thing is over here and we've got our nanny on here and you can see the range there. I'll turn that off because uh, yeah, hide range. And you can just stay there and do what you want to do. Now, uh, I should probably give you some meat, actually, come to think of it. Um, inventory? I think... That'll do. That'll do. Perfect. That'll work. Right. Excellent. Um, right. The other thing I wanted to do was... I want to go and get myself... Oh, yeah, before I forget, the other thing that did happen in between episodes, and the only thing that really wasn't retconned, um, 
is I made this, the industrial cooker. And the reason I made the industrial cooker is so I can make a bunch of cool stuff, such as I can make a bunch of Kalian soup all in one go. But there's other things I was looking at perhaps making. Um, okay, that's for underwater. Hypothermic insulation comfortable warmth. So that's if I'm in a hot place. Increased melee damage. Increased stamina regen. Oh, okay, that's quite cool. And this one... Craft speed and game movement speed. Okay, that's quite cool. This battle tartar and... Oh. oh, okay. Gives you the ability to see in the dark. Uh, mind white Tom, we don't want to do... Broth of Enlightenment could be, but we don't have woolly rhino horns for that. But that could be quite cool. Uh, cactus broth. Ah, that means that the we could sneak up on things. That might be quite interesting. And mushroom brew. Protects your pets from radiation. I don't think we really need to worry about that. So yeah, we've got this open to us now anyway, and primarily I'm using it for making a lot of Kalian soup. So it means now that our farmer is on uh, is powered up all the time now I was having trouble keeping him in Kalian soup so uh, yeah he should be all good at the moment yeah I gave him 50 yesterday um, and these okay I think I might need some more Fiomia because these guys are not keeping up with the demand at the moment, but that guy has only been working for a little while. So if I have a look up here, how are we doing? Uh, yeah, that one's not full. That's not full. Okay, yeah, so... No, we are not actually keeping up with demand. Um, I think... If I go up here... Yeah, that's fine. Why don't I have... Not seeded? Why is that not seeded? Uh, I shall need to replant some stuff then. Uh, yeah, let me take care of a few bits and bobs and I shall be back in a bit. Of course it's raining when I come back here, but I'm just gonna... I'm heading up to the top of the swamp here. Um, I'm just checking on these guys, seeing how they're doing. It's not the real reason I am here, but why not? Uh, just double check and see how they're doing. Take some of that. Don't really need anything else from here. These guys seem to be doing quite well on their own. Maybe check and see the level of the cats, because they are maybe needing a level up. Nobody about. Excellent. All good. How are you guys doing? You're not leveled up. You're not leveled up. You're not leveled up. How very poor. What have you guys been doing? Have you just been completely unbothered by anything around here? Oh, you're needing a level up. Oh! Remove leech. You could a leech on you. Um, and you need... What, a bit more? A bit more melee damage, why not? Oh, what's that? Oh, you have been killing lots of stuff. You've not got a huge amount of... Whoa! Yeah, hello. Get off me. Get off me, you stupid creature. Alright, it's getting a bit busy around here, so let's just get out of here. We'll worry about those guys later on. Now, the real reason I am up here is I'm looking for snails, or Akadina. Um... Because I fancy getting some cementing paste for free. They also produce an organic polymer, but really not in quantities that uh, are going to make a huge amount of difference to us. So, yeah. So they're normally... I've seen them around here. I don't necessarily know if this is the best area to find them. But it's certainly an area to find them. Or normally is. Normally. Did 
just grab a snack on the wing. You know, as you do. Um, but not seeing any of these snaily things. Let's go over here a little bit. Anybody about here? They're not huge, so they could be easy to miss. And I don't want to get too far underneath the trees. So I should should be able to see one kicking about somewhere. Hmm. Um, alright, okay. Right, let's see if I can snatch it up. Yep, there we go. Got a snail. Cool. Right, let's take it back to base. And knock it out. Alright, coming in to land with this guy now. Just going to drop him off here. Land down here and... We should manage to tame this guy pretty easily. Don't have any narcs on me, but I can pull from here if need be. Hello. Hello, Sneely. I was surprised to discover that these guys aren't uh, passive tames. But I don't imagine they're going to take too much in the way. Really? You're not going to get any top... 120? Oh my word. Oh well. Yeah, you try and make a run for it. There we go. Out like a light. So, the complicated thing about these guys is they only will uh, eat this stuff. The sweet vegetable cakes. Which is another reason why I wanted to build the uh, cooker thing, the industrial cooker. Uh, oh, urine consciousness is going down quite quickly. Nope. Uh, where is that? Narc, please. Do, 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 do. Narcotic, all structures, personal inventory. Uh, 20, please. Thank you. Although I'm not expecting this guy to need too much. Um, so his food's going down relatively quickly. What's that? It's under 100 now. So I'm not quite sure at what point he's going to need to eat. And we'll see how much his... Or its um, taming goes up when he takes a munch. Yeah, yeah. And I will need a few of these guys, I think. Maybe two or three. Two, certainly. Come on. You're not going to eat something? Wow. Don't know how much these. Yeah, don't know. Oh, I don't know what point it's going to do this, but it should do it at some point soon. You would have thought. It's nearly at 200 points below full. There we go. And it eats. And it's up to 43%. So it's not going to need to do that another two times. So I shall take... should go like that and like that and that should be perfectly acceptable and I shall do it up a little bit like that two three four five six seven eight I think that should probably do and we shall see how it goes in just a moment all right we're just at the point where it's going to take its last munch of sweet vegetable cake and uh, we should be good to go at that point. So just a few seconds left whilst the food drops a little bit more. One more bite of cake and we will have our first Ekaterina. Hmm. 
Here we go. Perfect. Excellent. I already have a name thought up for it just now. And uh, we're going to call it Zelda. Excellent. Perfect. Right. We will get you to stay there for the time being. We're going to get Budgie to pick you up for the first little bit. And we'll cart you up here, and you can probably all hear Calypso shouting, because he wants the bathroom tap on. Because he's a boy. You, there. Right, you pick you up, and now we get to go and play Akatina Basketball, trying to get this guy up into the area over here with the Thelia in it. So. Nope. <laughs> this could be fun. Because I'm normally... Nope. That's not going to work either. Right, okay. I need to get up there somehow. And Calypso, you're not helping. Right, um, how am I going to do this? I think I need a platform to stand on and then be up there. That would help. Yeah. So if I get... Um, if I pull over a triangular ceiling... If I go ceiling and go any old triangular ceiling, doesn't really matter what. It goes personal inventory. One of them will do, and I can also see a ladder of some description, I think. Yes, I've got a ladder as well. Um, so that'll be fine. So, ceiling, place, you there. And you, place. Like that. Can I climb up you? No, you were in the wrong place. Ladders are such a pain to place. Five. Alright. There we go. You can climb up here. Alright, so pick you up and go. And you stay up there. Alright, and now pick up you. Nobody there. Excellent. And pick up you, and then go. Whoop. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Um, can pick up that. Can put that back down. Nice one. Uh, pick you up. Pick you up. And then we go upstairs. I should have probably left that for the other Akatina that we're going to be putting up here. But never mind. So, behaviour. Enable wandering. Um, also, behaviour. Passive. And behaviour. Ignore group wh whistles. Excellent. You will be fine. Right. Your food as well is okay. Nothing really matters about this. But just for the fun of it, we're going to up your movement speed because it's funny. Um, and now I can also go... Where's the trough for in here? Is there a trough for in here? There should be a trough for in here. But where did I put it? Or is the trough for here actually the one that's over at the poly farm? I suspect it probably is, which is quite a long distance, because I need to put some of these sweet veggie cakes in there. How are you getting on? You are doing not too badly. 50% there, you're going to want care in just a second. How are your stats looking? Uh huh. Oh yeah, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. So 
this. Sure range, sure feeding range. Yeah, that goes out there. So that's what the feeding that's what feeding trough that is. So if I put these guys in here, what's their spoil time? Nine days. Okay, that'll have to do for the time being. And you automatic. Cool. Ooh, uh oh. Oh splash. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get back up. Right, he's done, or she's done. Excellent, very pleased. And I can now put a saddle on this thing, and let's check it out. Nearly 4,000 health, already got up three levels. 1,000 stamina, I could do with a little bit more. 500 weight, though, that's okay. And 379% melee damage, so I think that's not too bad. Um, let's just pump that into... Oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, going a lot up that way. Let's try this birdie out. So, nice coloration. The red tips to the yellow wings. Very nice. Like a cockatiel. Handles nicely in the air. Uh, let's see. Let's go and see what damage this thing will do to something. There should be something kicking about. Um, how about this guy? Oh well, yeah, that'll work. 130. Not brilliant. Um, oops. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. Thank you. Oh, come, come here, you stupid creature. There we go. Yeah, 131. It's not the best damage. But you know what? It's not really one of our main fighting dinos, is it? I think that's not too bad. This is going to be a short and sweet episode, so uh, I'm going to call it for just now. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to go and get that other Akatina. Um, oh, and the other thing I was going to do is, for the poly farm, I'm going to get myself an extremely low-level um, Therizinosaur. Uh, because I am the one I've got in there at the moment. I changed things over, got rid of the... the uh, moss chops and that that wasn't working. So the Therizinosaurus in, in there um, is relatively high level uh, and hasn't been specialised towards delicate harvesting. So if I get an extremely low level, like level 5 or something, uh, Therizinosaurus, then I can specialise it to delicate harvesting and get more polymer. From that. So that's what I'm going to do. So until the next time, and hopefully I'm thinking I might want to see if I can get hold of a thyla um, Thylacolio. So I think I shall do that. And uh, I shall see you the next time, hopefully. So uh, hopefully it won't be such a long time the next time. And uh, I shall see you then. Bye-bye and have our funs. Bye now.